Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another video or another build. And today I'm going to show you uh, some improvements on desktop and as well mobile be because the two new released builds are for mobile and desktops, of course, from different branches and different builds as well, but uh, different improvements. And uh, on the desktop, we have a new addition, which is eye control. So we you can control your keyboard for inhabilitated people uh, this is a must and but of course you must have a specific camera i can't do with this camera uh, but once you have that specific camera and install all the drivers then you're gonna come here in easy of access and then here in other options there will be here at the bottom uh, like turn on eye control or something like that and with eye control like i said uh, i can co cl close this window with eye control i can open the search uh, and of course I can open the keyboard as well just with the eyes so that's really really good uh, but of course like I said I can't really do with this camera and I can't turn that option on uh, but it's there in this build and when this creators fall update will be released you're gonna be able to use this feature of course with a camera that supports this feature another thing that they modified and edited in Microsoft Edge is they added now not plus they added now transparency here uh, at the top as well even if i close it this window at the top it's still transparent maybe it's not so visible it does go at the bottom you see at the bottom it got more white here it goes more yellow but let's open for example let's open uh, file explorer put it here and then you can see here if i open you can see here the difference in the in the right corner for example or even in the left corner you can see a bit the difference of course the transparency is not very very huge but you can see the difference if i minimize it the transparency is still there even though it's barely visible but it's there and i mean i mean maybe in the video it's not so visible but when you're gonna use it you're gonna notice it and it's better than having for example this one here is just straight blue or another color that i choose on the file explorer but this one is transparent and whenever my background changes, this one will change as well slightly, but not too much. And another big thing that I changed on Microsoft Edge is, for example, when you go into to a website, you open a random website. Uh, let's meet this one. Uh, you open a random website and for example, you see here at the top, let's open as well here YouTube. I'm gonna open here where, uh, where we have uh, all the videos. And for example, look at the top where the link is. In the new Edge, there is HTTPS as well. On the old one, there is no HTTPS. And if I go with the mouse there, it just goes white. Or if I move the mouse, it fades out. And if I click on it, then it will appear the HTTPS and all the link. But here on this one, the HTTPS is there. If I click, of course, it will uh, highlight all the link. But if I go away and go with the mouse, look how it fades only like the other information but uh, www.youtube.com it stays dark and the other it fades out look at that if i move it fades out which i think this is a very very welcome addition and i think people were asking for this addition because sometimes you might have like a very long link and you want you want only the website to copy or to do something because uh, here for example let's if i want to copy only youtube you saw, I want to copy it when I try to press with the mouse, it opens like this. It opens with with full HTTPS and I can't really copy straight YouTube now. I have to go back and copy. But here in this one, I can copy directly. For example, let's copy only videos, not, not videos. Let's copy smart into smartphones. You see, I can copy directly. But if I go into this one and I try to copy into smartphones, uh, it opened and I started to copy something else. So I think this is a must and a very welcomed change. But now let's go on the phone. More bug fixes on the on the desktop build. The, the build is very stable, but there's no like very noticeable changes. Now going into the mobile build, uh, which is with the number uh, 15237 on desktop is 16257. Uh, so the builds are different as you see. Uh, but they fixed some bugs and they fixed one very very welcomed bug uh, not welcomed but a must bug which was they mentioned that this bug was happening with camera app for me it was happening wh when watching youtube videos on the browser or when watching streams 
So for example, uh, let's open a stream. And when I was opening a stream, let me open the stream. I'm gonna lower the volume. So until now, everything good. When I maximize the video, I press to disappear all the menus. Until, until this point, it's all correctly. But when I was sliding with the hand to appear the, the shortcut menus, like with the back button, home button and the search button, when I was doing that, it was flashing like black, black. It was like the, the screen was trying to go black and was always flashing, popping up, flashing. Now this one got fixed. Whenever, whatever I do, it stays correctly. And this is a very welcome fix because there was so many times when I was watching, for example, a stream and I was trying to exit a stream. And if I was sliding with the, the finger, then it was already messing up so this is a very welcome fix they mentioned that the this fix was for uh, for the camera but this fix is for other apps as well because of course they will not say that this fix is for uh, hstream because hstream is a third party application uh, but anyway this is the fix mobile builds will not receive any new features because it's only in fixing mode but anyway thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one